guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 42 of Tropical Rouge for the Year, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see how best baby we don't even handle our story today. Oh my god, like, I feel like this is gonna be, like, probably one of these episodes that might make me cry. Because it's the graduation thing for these two. And it's like, oh, uh, like, they're still going to be there, but not really for the last few weeks, you know? Oh, hold up. Let me say some one thing real quick. Okay. So it's a little weird that we didn't get anything yet le Technically, I mean, like how they haven't even released like a lot of other ish for delicious party and you know because this was supposed to be the weekend where we were supposed to get i think something leaked and in the end like the the last leaked little thing that i saw was just um coloring pages for delicious party and that's it i didn't see anything else i got to see the characters and what they looked like um one of them was a I'm guessing, like, it's a guy, but he seemed like a prince in a way. And then one or, one or two of the girls that I saw, I, I, I barely remember what the heck they looked like because this was sometime last week or even a week prior to seeing it. So, I mean, I hope something comes out soon because it is, we're getting to the end of this show and it's like, oh, makes the most sense for that to pop up around now. But because of the fact is it seems like, Toei is being very, very secretive with this. And I'm like, okay, I get you. But, like, come on. That's, like, the same thing with freaking Seiyus of Pretty Cure in a Nutshell. Because you're like, oh, I wonder who's going to voice them. And then you don't know until later. Oh. <laughs> oh, there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's interesting. It makes you wonder how they would probably do, you know, like, aka <clears throat> my sign, a Libra. Of course. Uh oh. We got writer's box, babe. Mm. Yeah, and you got this. 
Don't frustrate yourself over it. Damn, makes you kind of want to season with that art style. Yeah. I mean, because come on, that was perfect. Okay. Like. I'm honestly happy for both of them. Aw, here we go. Right? I mean, because girl... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Exactly. You don't really want to screw up not only yourself, but everyone else. Of course you do want to. <laughs> Stop. 
stop it. You're going to make me cry. I don't want this. Like, God, because we are getting so close to the end of this show. Like, oh, God. Oh! Yeah, because that's how she actually feels! Because she knows she's going to have to leave. Mm-hmm. Manitou, yes! Yeah, because we know you're going to go back and change it so that you can remember Manatsu by the end of this. to stay on land. Oh, God. This got too real too fast again. Jesus. You're right. <laughs> but, you know, we can't always delay stuff. Trust me, I know. Once again, baby, don't get yourself too frustrated. Yes, right now of all times, Laura. We seriously thinking that's a shark? I mean... Okay.
Yeah, that thing don't look like a shark to me, but okay. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -mm, hold on. Because we 16 minutes into this. This is going a little too fast right now. So hold up. There's got to be something else. Because this feels a little too damn easy. And with eight minutes left in the episode? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. We serious just like that what the heck I, I thought like something it would have put up a fight oh is that a whale Yeah, because you never want to be around that thing if that thing blows up. Mm -mm. Damn, all at once? How many minutes do we have left? Okay, we got six minutes left, technically five, but this is definitely ending in a cliffhanger this week. And she was almost close, too. But what if it... It's not going to work. Oh, fuck. Well, you know what? I cannot believe I'm about to connect this to JoJo again. But you know, her dad, JoJo, got sucked in for a damn whale. She about to do it too. Oh my god. 
Oh, Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. So are we basically, you're basically taking mana. Oh, fuck. Because she's still inside. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. Are we about to get like one more final power? Oh, no, we're going into the past. God, she's so pretty. Like, oh, uh, I can't. The art. But, like, oh, to end on that cliffhanger, this week, Demon Slayer and Pretty Cure, in a nutshell, ending on cliffhangers. Come on now. Like, this was going so well, even though, like, yeah, because, once again, it did seem a little too easy that these girls were winning this fight. And because of the fact that we are getting oh so closer to the end of this series and such, of course, we have to have another freaking episode where the villain wins and aka a two-parter episode and where um we're finally going to not really still technically learn more of the truth of the backstory between the legendary cure and um the witch de uh, delays and everything and such so i'm hoping that next week we get instead of like just a picture and just like a slow panning down or panning up or left to right we get to see some moments where these two were actually like duking it out back and forth like you know fighting in it and stuff that's what i want that's the biggest thing that i want to see next week if we don't get that next week that's fine if we just get like you know pictures and everything and like a little montage and for you know manatsu to learn the truth that's okay too i understand total animation you know you're on a time crunch and you're already on delicious party pretty here so yes i get it but like oh and then laura oh my god honey laura is just feeling the same way that i do because once again we are getting closer and closer to the end of this show and best girl don't want to leave her girlfriend's Now, see, so, you know, way, like, I don't know why, but, like, that little bit with them going to go get Manatsu, it's very similar to the, um, season one, or really, when I look at Mermaid Melody, I look at it kind of just one season as, as a whole. So, maybe, like, the first, like, the last few episodes of the first half of season one were Lucia, um, Hanan, Rina, um... Kaito, uh, no, Noelle and Coco were down there. I think Hadian was with them. They eventually end up saving the rest of the mermaids, and, you know, we have the reunion and everything, especially with Noelle and, um, and Cotton and having all, I think, eight mermaids. Yeah, because Seta was the last one before she died with Kaito, um, and such. It, it, it seems like we're probably going to get something like that, but of course no one dies. Not yet. No, 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 no. Not until, like, episode 40, 
46 45 or 46 maybe even 47 because of course we we because we are once again so close to the end of the show we're going to be getting itch non-stop so we're probably like it seems like we're just skipping a christmas episode and just we're getting this and we're just going into it because it's the 20 this came out on the 20 on uh, yeah this came out on christmas so it seems like we're going to continue the after next week's episode we're going to continue the conclusion of the tropical graduation festival and then whatever the last week episodes will be still plot focus heavy main story heavy with the final battles and everything with everyone everyone coming together um maybe yuriko and then everyone else learning that you know hey these five girls are pretty cure because you know that always somewhat happens and such because I, I think especially with this show and with these group of girls and the cast of the show as well um they are the group that i really want to see you know everyone find out oh hey these girls these girls right here are pretty here so let's know because for healing good we all know that didn't happen because of reasons and such um and same thing a little bit for what tropical not tropical star twinkle i think the last time we had it where the citizens of the town found out about Pretty Cures was not healing good. Hagato and Kitakita. Yeah, Hagato and Kitakita. And then before that was Go Princess because how that finale went. But yeah, I mean, I thought this episode was interesting. Yes, I feel bad about the situation on Laura because it seems like when Laura does become queen and she goes back, the biggest mission is for her is to still retain her memories because of the fact is she doesn't want to go back and then have to lose her memories of being at, in the human world for a whole entire year and not remembering that she was friends with Monitor or anything. Because then it also makes you wonder if um, when Laura loses her memories and if Monitor Mon loses hers, with the other three as well and would they all forget that they were friends you know there's a lot of what ifs on that scenario and so hopefully we kind of get a little more answers on that but we know that by the end of the series laura is going to go back to her home and to just change saying that this shouldn't matter about this this is bullshit whatever yada 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 this is that and the third but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards episode 42 of tropical rouge pretty care if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday for episode 43 bye guys